Welcome to iLecture Online. So in the previous video, we ended up with a covariance matrix that was derived of a sample data set, or at least three sample data sets in X, Y, and Z. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to what we call normalize that covariance matrix. We're going to find the correlation coefficients. We've already learned how to find the correlation coefficients for the covariance, but what about the correlation coefficients for the variance itself? Well, it turns out something very interesting will happen when we do that. So first of all, let's find the variance in X, which is 1.67, and divided by the, well, S sub X, which is the variance in X, which is 1.67, we get 1. If we do the same for the variance of Y, so we get the variance of Y, which is 2, divided by the variance of Y, which is 2, which is 1, and the same for Z, we get 0.9167 divided by 0.9167, and we get 1. Well, that makes sense. The correlation coefficient of a data set compared to itself, because that's essentially what the variance is, when we do that, when we find the correlation coefficient, we get 1. So that means we end up with 1s across the diagonal. So when we take the variances and we divide the variances by the variances, which is essentially the method to find the correlation coefficient, we get 1s across diagonal, which is, of course, what we'd expect to find. What about the other elements, the off-diagonal elements? Well, let's take the covariance of x, y, which is negative 1, and divide it by the variance of s, well, the square root of the variance of s, that would be the square root of 1.67, multiplied times the square root of the variance of y, which is 2, the square root of 2. So what is that equal to? So we take negative 1, we divide by 1.67, take the square root, and divide by 2, take the square root, and we end up with 0.547, a negative, of course, negative 0.547. 547. So that's the correlation coefficient when we compare the sample set of X to the sample set of Y. Not a very strong correlation. It also shows that one is increasing while the other one is decreasing. And yes, there's some sort of decrease to the, to the sample set for Y. We have the larger numbers at the top, the smaller numbers at the bottom, but it's not a, a, a linear change, right? There's some variation in there, and that's why there's not a strong correlation, Zero, negative 0.547. So that goes in here, negative 0.547 and negative 0.547. How about the covariance of x and z? Well, let's see here, x and z, that would be negative 0.5 divided by the square root of the variance of x, which is the square root of 1.67, multiplied times the square root of the variance of z, and let's see here, the variance of z, which is right here, 0 0.9167. And let's see what we get there. 0.5 divided by 1.67, take the square root, divided by 0.916666, take the square root, equals, so we get 0 0.404 and we get a negative, negative 0 0.404. Let me check that real quick just to make sure I didn't push the wrong buttons divided by 1.67 take the square root divided by 0.9167 take the square root equals yep that's what I get negative 0.404 that would be this one right here right x and z negative 0.404 and negative 0.404 one more the covariance of y and z that would be um, covariance of y and z would be this one right here and this one so it would be negative 0.333 divided by the square root of the variance of y which is 2 multiplied times the square root of the variance of z which is 0.9167 and so we get one third divided by the square root of 2 divided by the square root of 0.9167, take the square root, equals, and I get 0 0.246, so 0 0.246, and that goes over here, negative 0 0.246 and negative 0 0.246. So what do we have here? We have what we call the correlation coefficients. Across the diagonals, we expect to find ones. That makes sense. 
and in the off diagonals we take the covariance and we divide it by the square root of the variance of the one variable set and the square root of the variance of the other variable of the variable set so we have the the variance of x the variance of y and the variance of z and when we divide that those products into the numerators we end up with a correlation coefficient so let's take a look at these all of them are negative which means that one is increasing while the other one is decreasing so if we compare x to y that's the case when we compare x to z that it's somewhat the case but it's more random there's a bigger number here smaller number there so it's partially through but i would expect not a very strong correlation between x and z let's take a look here so between x and z it's negative and not a strong correlation 0.4 is not a very strong correlation so that makes sense all right how about x and y so x and y is a little bit stronger in correlation because there's more of a trend for y compared to z one is increasing one is decreasing so again i get a negative and a slightly bigger negative number so a very a slightly stronger correlation between x and z versus x i mean x and y versus x and z finally between y and z notice we have something that is somewhat decreasing somewhat decreasing but the decrease is not very strong um i wouldn't expect to find a negative although let's see here negative do we have a negative here um well yes it is negative but it's very weak there's a very weak correlation because it's 0.246 slightly negative just a slight correlation it's almost random the data between y and z almost appears random that's why the correlation coefficient is fairly small fairly close to zero which is what we would expect and so you could say there's not a strong correlation and it looks like one data set is changing a little bit differently than the other data set and that's about all you can say between y and z so here is what we call the covariance matrix normalized where the diagonals we get once and everything else is then filled in with the correlation coefficient which is similar to what it would be if we had the variances across the diagonal and the, covari the covariances of the diagonal and that is how it's done All right.